Welcome to week three of the New City Catechism videos. Last week we looked at the question, what is God? And the answer, God is the creator of everyone and everything. This week we're going to be thinking more about God, and this time in a different question, which is, how many persons are there in God? It's a bit of a strange question. There's, because you are a person, and you are one person. I'm a person, and I am one person. But God is like, is not like you and me. God is like no one else. The Bible tells us that God is made up of three persons. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. How many persons are there in God? There are three persons in one God. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now that's quite tricky to get our heads around. Sometimes it's hard to fully understand God's greatness. But we do know in the Bible that God is one God made of three persons. It's a little bit like this piece of rope. This is one piece of rope, yet it is made up of three different pieces of rope. They are all different but they are still equal and they all make up one big piece. Three pieces make up one big piece of rope. Now, God is way bigger than a piece of rope, but it just starts to help us to think about how God is one God, but three persons. Sometimes people call this the Trinity, because tri means three. Within the Trinity, each person is fully God. Each person in the Trinity is different, but God has always existed as three persons. And we can learn more about this in the Bible. In a book called Corinthians, it says, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. How many persons are there in God? There are three persons in one God. The Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. How many persons are there in God? There are three persons in one God. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 